these skeletons come to life. I'm going to be very surprised. Hey folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to our playthrough of Die by the Sword. When we last left off, we had actually uh, just busted up the dwarven mines and uh, we're now in the master's castle and this is a uh, it's an interesting area. It's going to be a little touch and go here, but speaking of skeletons, I'm actually wondering can we just skip these guys? No, okay. We uh, we want to jump in the we want to jump in that alcove eventually, um, but we're gonna have to deal with these skeletons first. I'm gonna try to skip some fights uh, when possible, just because uh, it's fairly fairly difficult um, to, if you actually try to fight all these all the enemies that we're going to be in, encountering. There's over you know over 20 of them, I would say. There we go. We got that guy. Can we jump in here now? No, we can't. All right, I guess we can't skip that one. Um, there's probably a method to it, but, um, oh, did we get him? I think we got him. Good. Let's check in here and check on the other one over here. All right, in we go. As you can see, uh, we'll be making use of alcoves like this uh, pretty frequently over the course of the playthrough here, but uh, that, uh, that's what, what happened there. All right, we don't want to touch any of these lit tiles. Um, we can step on them when they're not lit, but it's better to just avoid them altogether, if possible. Now over there to the right, that is a healing fountain, and we'll make good use of that, but not yet. Um, this place uh, took me a little while to get figured out. As it turns out, yeah, there's some secret areas all over the place and uh, in this level. And um, they're pretty much required, because if we try to progress without doing this area and some other areas like it, uh, we will die. It's not even a question, it's just a literal guarantee. Now somewhere, there should be a... Ah, uh, yep, there we go. You ain't got the balls, you bony ass! <laughs> um, these, these skeletons uh, aren't too bad usually, but unless they gang up on you, of course. But, um... Ooh, let's uh, actually face our enemy here. Uh, but yeah, they, I mean, they jump around a lot, but they don't have very many HP, which is sort of a, a blessing. All right, we we got that one. This guy's going to be a little bit trickier, I think. Oh, yeah. Careful now. So what we can do is actually run in here, and one of these, one of these has a potion in it, I think, in this one. Yeah, we'll grab this and try and ensure our survival here. All right. Oh, I actually sheathed my sword like a big dummy. Um, well, we didn't actually get punished for that too much. It looked worse than, than it was. All right, one more. These skeletons actually have really weak, uh, really weak legs, like you might expect. Um, when I was playing through this level before, I had a lot of success uh, chopping their legs off. So these, it's hard, kind of hard to tell what they are, but we step on one. And uh, another one flips over, and we just step on them in sequence here, and uh, it's gonna be great. There we go. It's hard to tell, but they're actually uh, they're moons. Now this guy, forget about attacking this guy. We don't need to do that. We just need to break this crystal. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, there's two more, but they're pointed at something, and I believe that'll despawn the skeleton. Yeah, just straight up destroys him. So that's gonna make our life a lot easier, actually. I actually, you never, I never really walked up here. We can take a maybe a little bit closer look in here. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. That's the uh, the chamber of some kind. But at any rate, we're gonna go right through here and uh, should be able to teleport out of this room now, just like so. All right. So we're about uh, a quarter of the way. Oh. I was going to say we're about a quarter of the way done. Oh, we got this guy now. Yeah, the skeletons come in a few different uh, few different flavors. And they're all obnoxious, but uh, the, the this is the, I think, the hardest one. He's got a little bit of armor on, as you can see. Oh, ah, I was sure that my shield was in the way of that one, but I guess I was mistaken. Now you're my baby. Oh, no. All right. Come on. Hey, there we go. All right, one more hit. If you're better at the game than me, <laughs> you can uh, probably decapitate these guys without too much trouble. 
Um, I think all their limbs are a little bit uh, a little bit weak. I mean, they're weak in general, I guess, you know, like I said, they don't have very many HP. Okay, so, I'm trying to decide. I think we should probably, um, we're going to try and get through here. We should, I mean, these tiles don't really do very much damage. We just got tagged by one there, I think, and you can see our HP didn't really move. Let me sneak across here. I'm going to save that healing fountain. Um, let's try to do one more of these rooms. Because I think all of these, just about all of these anyway, are going to have some kind of something going on in them. Yeah, I hear him. Oh! There we go. Oops, I pushed the wrong button there. I've been playing a little bit of Dark Souls and, uh, got my, my, uh, yeah, my button's confused there in that I was trying to block and there is no block button in this game. So, um, okay, there we go. That's good. That's good. I think there's only one skeleton in this one. I th oh, no, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. I was so very wrong. Okay, let's, if we can kill this guy, then we can make really good use of that, uh, oh man, uh, we can make really good use, oh man, this is not going well. We can make good use of the, uh, the healing fountain though, if we, uh, can actually hit this guy. Alright, oh, ah, careful. Okay. And what are these? Oh, we got his leg. All right, that's uh, that helps. Uh, we didn't get to him quite in time there. Look, at, we're just a fucking mess right now. Holy shit! All right, we gotta get one more good hit, and we should have this guy. Ah, oh, I was gonna say we should have him. Lost, uh, lost sight of him there a little bit. Okay, we should be able to. We can just, like I said, just get a good hit in. There we go. Okay, we got him. The door opens back up, and uh, if we jump on these tiles at the wrong time, we might actually die in the condition we're in, but we'll, we'll try and get across here. Oh, we did get hit there a little bit. Okay, we jump here. We can jump over here, and then in here. Ta-da! All right, fully healed. That is very excellent. There's a few of these uh, fountains as we kind of progress here. Just jump over here and then jump over like so. Okay, let's move on. Basically, this whole castle is just like one big fucking gauntlet <laughs> where we have to uh, kill a lot of skeletons. Now, we got some spikes in the wall here. We're going to try to tease those out a little bit here like so. Right. Yep, there we go. And I think there's still a skeleton in here. Yes, indeed, there is. All right, let's try not to lose all that HP we just got back. I would love to keep some of it. <laughs> um, I wish that it was a little easier to like, oh man, uh, a little easier to get headshots with the the joystick. Like I know it's, I think it's kind of e a lot easier with the uh, with the keyboard because it keeps your everything level for you. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's not the end of the world or anything. There we go. All right, so we got that guy. Is there more? No, I don't think so. Um, we can always want to jump in these. Just because you never know. Okay, I guess we've got, ah, okay, this is, uh, this one we might die on. We got, a we got an interesting, interesting challenge ahead of us here. All right. I think that we're gonna fight this guy, and then we're gonna fight one more, and then uh, something's going to happen. <laughs> it's gonna be very bad for us. And anybody who's in this room. All right. Oh man, that hurt. <laughs> oh, there we we actually knocked him over. Got his leg. Yeah, like I said, their their limbs are super super weak. So there we go. Okay, there's one guy. Oh, all right. You hear that now? Uh, we want to jump in here, just like so. Because the ceiling, I don't know if you saw it there, the ceiling is actually coming down to uh, to crush us. If we stay in there too long, we definitely die. But that should bring the ceiling back up. And indeed it does. Okay. Now I think we can hit this lever and I think this will open the door for us. Or something like that. We'll come over here and uh, there's a healing fountain over there. However, there's... Uh, 
something nasty waiting for us in it. I'm, I can show you, actually. You come over here. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's a water tentacle. Very devious trap. That fountain will still heal us, though, if we jump into it. But we're not going to do that just yet. We've got to come down here, and we've got to sort of rinse and repeat uh, with what we did last time. Come down here and kill uh, a few skeletons in the uh, crypt here. And then kill another gem. Except this time, there's no, uh, <laughs> this time there's no potions to save us, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's an unfortunate situation. All right, well, we've really barely touched this guy. There we go. Attacking the legs on these guys is really, really quite effective. There we go. We got him. All right. One more. Oh, all right. If we can... <laughs> It's not going very well this time. Oh, there we go. We got him in the back a little bit. Yeah, it's really effective if you can uh, get around behind them. Oh, man, that hurt. It's okay. We got a full heal waiting for us. As long as we have some HP to deal with the tentacle, we're going to be okay. That tentacle will respawn, which is why I didn't go kill it earlier. Um, Want to save? Oh, man, we got a, another guy. All right, we got, we, we got that guy just in time, though, I think. Oh, no, we didn't quite get him. Well, we will get him. Not to worry. There we go, all right. Hit him in the leg again, that would be lovely. There we go. This guy's gotta die, though. I mean, I know they're skeletons, they're already technically dead, but... Oh, bitch. <laughs> just as we got that one guy, that's okay. Let's just try this again here. And I'm gonna try and get this guy immediately. Yeah, there we go, that helps out a lot. All right, now this guy... I'm trying to get their legs, um, but I'm not doing a terribly good job at it. All right. Oh, I think we actually hit him in the head there a little bit. There we go. And again. It's really easy, like, once we kill these guys to just get into the, uh... Ugh, oh, you're shitting me. It's really easy just to jump in the, uh, the gem room and blow that shit up. <laughs> it makes our life very simple from, from that point on. We're going to be fighting a ton more skeletons still, if, uh, if I recall. Oh, there we go. We got his leg. I'm gonna shove that limb up your oh, that would have been such a sweet hit. Usually when I do jump attacks, I end up just getting myself hurt, but <laughs> it's still fun to try. All right. Similar as before, we just jump on one of these and one of these. And then, oh, well, and then this one. There's really no trick to it. It's just uh, a hoop you got to get through. All right, so we're going to ignore this guy once again and slash the thing. All right, that's two out of three. Almost done with this part. And again, this guy should be dead. Yep. Helps out a great deal. I don't know if we're going to have to fight another skeleton on the way out of this one or not. Uh oh, oh, there we go. The to wait for it to fill up with water, I guess, or something. I guess that is water. Yep. All right, are we going to have to fight another guy before we get out of here? No, good. All right, I'm going to shoot my sword so we move a little bit quicker here. And uh, we're going to go and get that fountain, I think. I think there's one more fountain after this. <clears throat> Maybe, <laughs> if I recall. All right, so we got to basically try to not get... Oh, got to try to not get grabbed by this fucking thing. But if we can just... Slash it like this a bunch of times. It'll eventually die. And I think it went down right there. Okay, good. All right, so we jump in here. Get healed. Get the fuck out of here, because that thing will respawn uh, soonish, I think. Now, we've got more skeletons to fight. Wouldn't you know it? I think is one of these... One of these rooms is uh, special, though. I think it's this one. First time I played through this, I actually missed those uh, those power rooms. I had to look it up on the internet. I uh, I hate to admit. Oh, we just got both his legs. I guess that is that's a kill right there. Good. Um, yeah, the uh, yeah the, the, those things were fairly well hidden, and I had I just walked right by them. Maybe we jump in here though. Yeah, we jump in here and we get to a uh, nice little secret area. That allows us to skip the next two hallways, which is excellent. I, uh, I'm a big fan of this uh, little shortcut here. 
Um, so we just sneak around through here and then around through here. And there we go. I think we've got one more passageway over here. Yeah. And then this should bring us out, I think, in the uh, in the main keep, as it's called. Um, oh, we got one more fountain over there, of course. And uh, no, the main keep is actually my mistake. It's uh, going to be right at the end of that hallway. We've got to do one more of these first. All right, the game uh, did its per uh, video crash. So uh, we're restarting from right here. No big deal. We're on the third ramp here. And it's uh, more of the same. More, uh, more skeletons, as one might expect in these uh, crypts here. I think we got one guy right in this one. If he would come out, that would be wonderful. Ah, there we go. Surprise! So yeah, if we uh, we take care of this guy, we got, we're got we gonna have three in this room to, to take care of. No big deal. Um, if we uh, take these guys out with a little bit of HP left over, it's good, but it doesn't really matter because we do have that that uh, healing potion, or not healing potion, that healing fountain, I should say. All right, um, back, yeah, back in the uh, the main room there. There we go, all right, he's down. Got one more guy, I think, coming around this way. Just uh, crab walk here. <laughs> See if we can outsmart him. This is one of the easier ones, I think. He's, he's or he's the mid-range one, he's got a helmet on. Of course, the easiest ones have uh, no armor whatsoever, except for the shields. Oh, there we go. Looking good. Oh, careful. That's a dangerous place to quick save. <laughs> almost. I think we've probably almost got his leg, actually, but they're really not any easier to kill without their legs unless you happen to get both their legs, in which case they die immediately. Um, you know, which is, I guess, useful if you can make that happen. Okay, he's got to be, got to be super close. Oh. We just, uh, we just got combo there a little bit. One of these guys will come out of their uh, crypt early if we get too close to it, I think. So I want to be careful. Oh, man, we just got slapped upside the head there. Holy shit. All right. Everything's fine. Be cool. Everything's good. Anybody else? No? Oh, god damn it. That, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I knew he was there. I was pr pretty sure, but then I thought I was I was mistaken. This is uh, one of the easier skeletons, though, so I'm not sweating it too much. Although we could still die to this guy for uh, if we play like shit, of course. There we go. Oh, we just got we just got knocked all over the place there a little bit. Yeah, these guys actually do get knocked uh, knocked around a lot as we hit them, so that's useful in a way to kind of keep them off of us. Anyway, that's going to be all the skeletons. Oh, here we go. And here's our platforms raising up. So we'll save here. Let's we'll jump on this guy. And then we go over here. And here. And one more time. All right. One more fucking skeleton. Oh, this guy's a little clumsy, though. I feel feel bad for, for what we're about to do to him. But <laughs> there we go. Or not even what we're going to do with him. That he's just going to straight up become no longer in existence. But yeah, that's all of our crystals, so we never have to worry about this bullshit again. That's that's at least uh, a plus. Just wait for that to fill up. There we are. And away we go. Um, I'm trying to think if we should save our... Oop, I just hit my, my desk there. If we, could, if we should save our healing, I don't think that's going to be necessary strictly. I think what we want to do, yeah, let's let's jump in there, and then um, over here, we just need to be careful as we go through this next room, basically. Let's save here, and then, oh, yeah, that's why. These these things, you, you can probably see them in the walls there. They, uh, they want to kill us very much. If we just carefully progress forward, they should uh, shoot out of the wall, at least on the right side. Yeah, 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 there we go. All right, and then we can safely progress through. No need for us to go back there at this point, anyway, since I used the healing fountain. So that's good. All right, now we're uh, we're approaching the main keep here. Yeah, here we go. I'm trying to remember. Actually, is there a secret something? Don't know that there is in this in this particular room, anyway. 
I'm looking, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it. The door is automatically open, so you don't have to like mash buttons or anything to make that happen. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to recall if there are. Yeah, there's uh, there's this thing. We can't really do anything with this thing. It's kind of an interesting wall over here, but yeah, there's nothing to be done with that. Uh, we can run up here real quick. And there's something up here. It's uh, There's a potion up here, I know. I can't remember if there's any enemies up here or not, though. So we'll just take a quick, uh, a quick peek. And then we'll jump back down and uh, tackle those other two skeletons. We could actually probably even just skip those two skeletons if we wanted to. So is there is there an enemy up here? No, there's not. What's uh what's going on with the view? I don't see shit. <laughs> All right, that's a full health potion actually. It's quite useful. Um, but we're not. We don't need it. We're at full HP. So, um, my thought though is yeah, actually maybe we will just run past the uh the two skeletons. I don't know. Um, what is over here? Oh. Okay, that was strange. Everything's fine though. <laughs> All right, let's uh, we'll we'll try and kill these skeletons, I guess, just for fun. This may go really poorly for us. Now you're my bitch. Actually, yeah, we hit that guy pretty hard. We get uh, if we get legs. That's uh, you know, that's that's always good. Oh man, that guy has like some kind of like bullshit spinny attack. A little bit too close to him. There we go. All right, so we got that guy. There, there we go. Right, I think we got. Oh, we we got his leg. We are getting hit in the ass now. All right, I'm gonna save up here a little bit. I thought he was gonna go and pick up his leg or something. Get the fuck back here. I'm not done with you yet. Oh, there we go. We got him. I think. Look at just look at this fucking mess of gore that is our body right now. This is look like a fucking strawberry. All right, like a big, uh, big ass watermelon. There we go. All right, we're looking, uh, we're looking okay here. Run over and get back here, man. Stop running away. It's actually a really good opportunity to hit him if you can. Oh, let's not, let's not do that again. <laughs> um, if you can catch up to him. Nice uh, exchange of steel there. Oh, I was sure that we were going to hit him in the leg there. We actually almost got one of his legs. You can see the, the damage since uh, these guys don't show any gore. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this guy. Yeah, the skeletons don't ever have anything on them. We're going to run back up real quick. Ooh, this is, uh, yeah, here we go. We're going to run back up. We're going to grab that potion, and then we're going to go through those doors and uh, find out what's behind them. Yeah, this level's not too bad, considering. I think, man, that worst level was the one with, uh... Where we fight, like, the Shaman and all the Ogres, the Barracks, basically. Man, that level was my nightmare. <laughs> but, uh, we're pretty much at the end of the game here, uh, as far as I know. Here we go, there's our full healing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we'll, uh... We'll see shortly, I guess. I actually really like the last level... This level's fine. It's, it's like I said, it's a little bit easier um, than a lot of the other levels. But uh, yeah, the last one was pretty fun for sure. And I actually kind of like the Lost Temple as well because some of the platforming sections were not terrible, even though I got hit in the face with a lot of like spinning blades and stuff. Okay. So who do we have here? What now? Your vandalism has left me considerably weakened. I shall let Changa deal with you. Oh yeah, we're not quite done yet. <laughs> you remember uh, Changa from one of the cinematics. By the way, there is no cinematic for this uh, particular part of the game, but we'll cut down these kobolds. It doesn't do anything but make us feel good about ourselves. Oh, if you move, I can't cut you down, dummy. Um, cut this guy down. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, these guys won't help us fight. They're just gonna... Be scared because they're basically food and they don't have any weapons anyway. So they, I'm not sure really how much help they would realistically be. But now we get to fight Changa. Oh yes, this is going to be... I uh, should probably actually save it like this. There we go. 
Chang'e is, uh, he's, he's a character. Maybe I should have actually not fought those skeletons and saved that, that healing potion, but I think we're going to be okay. I beat him with a lot less, uh, a lot less, oh man, a lot less health than this. Oh man. <laughs> this is, this is going poorly. We're going to, we just have to reload this one, I think. So we want to be able to go into the next level with some HP at least. This guy's, uh, his, his arm's got like a ton of range on it, and he knocks us back uh, quite far if he actually hits us um, sometimes. So we want to be a little bit careful here. Holy shit, that hit. <laughs> that hurt quite a bit. I think we're going to be okay though if we, uh, if we leave the level with about half HP, I think we'll, we'll probably be fine. Okay, oh, careful. All right, that is not at all what I wanted, but uh, can always get what you want, I guess. There we go. That's uh, that's a good exchange. He's uh, he's not that tough. Like he's not super duper tanky or anything. I mean, he's got a, more HP than many of the enemies that we faced so far. But it's actually a little bit easier if you uh, hide behind this elevator a bit, um, just because he uh, he likes to jump around and shit. But the elevator gives you a little bit. Just a little bit of distance that you can work with, which is uh, quite nice. Oh, no, that's not the time to attack. Ah, oh, balls. Yep. <laughs> it's okay. We're uh, we're we're close to close to being done with Changa here. All right, this is a good good hit. Okay, and I think a couple more should do him. Hey, there we go. You are dead. Can we cut your legs off? Yeah, there we go. This is for what you did to the kobolds, you bitch. Can we cut any more of them? No, I guess not. Well, we tried. <laughs> he's, uh, he's very dead now. I wonder if the kobolds will, uh... Oh, we can't get back through here. I was wondering if the kobolds would help, would do anything, but, uh... I guess not. I mean, they don't have anything anyway. I would, I would imagine, in their uh, being in the predicament that they were in. So, that's fine. But yeah, we're uh, we're headed back up here, and you'll see this is uh, this is where we came in. Basically, this is uh, where they keep Chenga, I guess. Basically, when he's not uh, eating kobolds, I think they're. Last time there's another skeleton that spawned around here, but uh, not this time, thankfully. So we just, uh, I don't know if we have to do this, but I'm going to do it. If we can get through here. Come around this way, maybe. Fuck your camera. Also, fuck your orb, I think. I'm trying. Last time I was able to break this thing, no problem. But it doesn't seem to be possible this time. Which makes me a little bit sad. Cause I, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, fuck your orb. Now, let's see, is there anything behind these? All right. Oh, we got a potion of minor healing. That's excellent. Where now? All right, good. I'm glad I checked that because I didn't get that last time. But anyway, yeah, all we got to do now is jump through that. And that's going to do it for uh, this episode. We got a pretty good score there. Um, I don't know if I missed any other like little secrets or anything, but uh, I think we did pretty well. So anyway, until next time, my name has been Rojo. And thanks for watching.